right. Hello, my friends. I come with news. We've got a new puppy, and his name is Basil. Oh, little stink. Oh, little stink. Little stinky boy. Have a little sheep. Oh no, up the ramp. Hey, you. So a bit of backstory to good old Basil here. Growing up, I always had like big dogs. So this is Harvey. I had him when I was very young. He was a golden retriever. And I, you know, they're not usually massive. He was a bit of a unit though. My parents, they kind of like got him from a drug den <laughs> in a place called North Shields. And by that, I mean like the people from said drug den put like an advert in the paper to like rehome him. I don't mean my parents got him free with like a couple of grams. Anyway, lovely boy, sweet, gorgeous. Uh, like most people from North Shields, enjoyed a scrap. He was kind of one of those dogs where he wouldn't start on other dogs, but if they started on him, he'd finish it. I'd say he probably won every fight he ever had. Until he met cancer, he died age 12. Rest in peace, Harvey Lenny, what a boy. Uh, then we got someone who you might remember, Darcy. Now, Darcy was a crackhead first and Bernese Mountain Dog second. Absolute star of the Will and E channel and someone whose face I still miss very much. She passed away like a couple of years ago, I think it was now. Um, but even in like the extended family, with this, this is Minnie. Uh, she is also a Bernese Mountain Dog. And as you can see, her belly is so big, it's grade two listed. Anyway, so yeah, like I'm a, I'm a big dog person. I'm used to having big dogs. So for me and Mia, right, going into like getting my first puppy together, we were we were coming at it from different angles, right? Because she's a little dog person. Growing up, uh, she had a miniature Dachshund called Frankie. So basically, right, long story short, I wanted a golden retriever and Mia wanted a chocolate and tan miniature Dachshund. So what we did is we compromised and got a chocolate and tan miniature Dachshund. So his name, as I've said, is Basil, which is great because you can kind of shorten it to Baz or lengthen it to Bastard. Uh, we're still kind of figuring out which one's more appropriate. We went to get him on Saturday last week. We picked him up from a lovely family who's a like family pet that had a litter. And in this litter, apparently, Basil had a best mate, right? This little bloke in the blue collar called Finn. And sadly, uh, Finn has a disability that's going to affect him for the rest of his life. Uh, that being, he's just been taken in by Cal Freezy. Uh, my thoughts go out to Finn. I also heard, actually, on a separate note, uh, the F in Finn stands for fat as fuck. Look at the size of that belly. Eh? Naughty little sausage, eating all the pies. Anyway, right, so we picked him up. Uh, we took him on the train. He was dead good. He wasn't, wasn't really that nervous. I was a bit worried, you know, he'd be sad, like being taken away from his brothers and sisters and his mom or whatever, but he was pretty chill. Uh, took it all in his stride until we got in the taxi and he threw up all over us. But, uh, you know, we won't, we won't hold that against him. Outside, some grass. That's you. <laughs> 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 okay, it's time to hear your report card. What's your man being saying about you? Basil is playful and inquisitive and is always first to the feeding bowl. <laughs> After he has finished playing and exploring, he loves to come and sit on your lap to receive love and cuddles. Basil always manages to find tassels, toggles and shoelaces and loves to play tug of war and will have a chew of them. Basil loves being with Finn and will always seek him out to get up to mischief. True partners in crime, we are so happy that Basil and Finn are going to be in each other's lives. <sighs> so, right, what does Basil like? Number one? Cardboard. Fucking loves cardboard. Uh, namely, like, digging cardboard. Not quite sure, like, what he's going for or what he thinks he's going to achieve. You know, like, what he thinks is under there. Regardless, absolutely loves it. You like your box? You like that box? Number two, salami. Not sure if it's really good for him, but he loves the stuff. Number three, VPN services. 
He's a massive fan. Honestly, bloke can't get enough of them. And you can see him review all three of those things on his socials, uh, which are on the screen and in the description right now. Also, he has a favorite toy, and that is his joint that his friend Meg bought him. Thank you for that, Meg. Only smoking the loudest of packs is our Basil. Now, Basil, he's, uh, he's only 12 weeks old at the minute, and he hasn't had all of his injections, so we can't, like, take him out for a walk and, like, he can go outside, but we can't put him on the floor, right? And you're supposed to, whilst they're this young, like, get them out and socialise them to, like, their surroundings. So what Mia's done is she spent 15 Great British Pounds on a sling for tiny dogs. Basil. And we've been going around and showing them all the local attractions. Anyway, that's our new mate, Basil. Uh, sorry, I can't give you like a fully comprehensive review of him yet because I, I pretty much just met him. But from what I know, seems like a pretty sound little bloke. Uh, if you would like to get to know him more though, as I've mentioned, his socials are on the screen right now and in the description. Please feel free to go check them out and click on his brand deals. And we will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.